Hello, my name is Brooks Cossover, and I'm an oil painter. Today, I've decided to tackle the question that's probably on nobody's mind, but it's relevant to me. What's the point of art school? Oh, to be young, bright-eyed and youthful. A decade ago, at age 18, I was a bona fide twink, straight out of Weaver Academy of the Arts in Greensboro, North Carolina, my hometown. For 18 long years, I trained. Coming from a family of artists, I basically had a paintbrush in my hand since before I could walk. And uh, by the time I graduated high school, somehow I had managed to get the most artistic senior superlative in a school for the arts, so I guess that means I won or something. Needless to say, I had a big hit. And I was absolutely positive that I was gonna make it in the art world, all right? And I, after receiving a scholarship to the school of my dreams, Maryland Institute College of Art, I was ready. I packed my bags, I headed to Baltimore, and with a heart full of gold and a head full of dreams, I was ready to take my artistic training to the next level. Now, there's absolutely no way I would have a college degree unless I went to art school. I mean, in a weird way, art school is kind of like this one super long, intense summer camp that just goes on for four years. That's not to say that it's all fun and games. I mean, th there are fun and there are games, but no, there are also studio classes that last upwards to six and some 12 hours. I had 12 hour studio classes. It's like, it's like a, a job shouldn't even keep you there for that long. But yeah, where you're painting in there literally from nine until nine, you have two breaks, but still a class at 12 hours. Come on guys. I had a lot of sleepless nights painting, but I had a lot of sleepless nights partying as well. I mean, there's one thing that I think is pretty universal amongst all artists and that is, we know how to have a good time. And when you go to art school, you're gonna have a good time. And you're gonna experiment, whether it's sexually, with drugs, or even just changing your hair color. I mean, art school, it has a way of bringing it out of you. If it's in there, oh, you best believe. It's coming out, baby. Now, freshman year, or foundation year, as it was called at Micah, the school I went to, it was a time for experimentation and exploration where the young artists were encouraged, no, no, more like forced, to think outside of the realm of what they considered art to be at that time going in. So, yeah, you can imagine my surprise when I went in wanting to paint things like this, and then they told me I needed to paint like this. Well, well maybe it wasn't that cut and dry, actually, but what art school does do is it makes you learn the value of all different forms of art. And I mean, if a painting is hanging on a museum wall, there's a reason that it's there. And if you're in art school, you're gonna have to find out what that reason is. From minimal conceptual sculpture to performance art, man, I began to become overwhelmed. The mass of knowledge that I had never expected to even know going into college. Like, I, I didn't know all this stuff. I had no idea what I was in store for. And so, I mean, once I got into like halfway through my freshman year, my mind was just blown and I had no idea what kind of artist I wanted to be when I was going in there knowing exactly what kind of artist I wanted to be. And if you're feeling like that, it means it's working. So I began to experiment with all different forms of expression, such as, uh, let's see, I got a couple video clips. Uh, this embarrassing little performance here. Yeah. Yeah, I really have no idea what's going on here. It's like I'm acting out the gesture that I did in the painting there, but I'm pretty sure I probably had some wordy attempt to validate it with some sophomore concept that's completely out of the realm of understanding for me, probably even at this time. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. Uh, he, oh, so here I began to experiment with sculpture uh, along with painting, and I think that, um, yes, yes, so see I added a fan, which gave the painting an element of sound and motion because it was painted on a tarp and it took place in different locations. I was thinking outside the box. 
like a good little art school boy. I was a regular Dali, wasn't I? I mean, my experimentation really knew no bounds at all. Like, hold on, check, check this one out right here. Yeah, so uh, this is a video piece that I was thoughtful enough to entitle The Intimacy of Sight, Space, and Sound. Wow, I was a little fucking dick. Oh my god. Yeah, check this one out, guys. What do you think? Is this blowing your mind? Is this just so unbelievably artistic that you can't even stand it? Ah! Fuck, I'm so smart. Enough of this bullshit. No. Okay, well, here's this. Uh, that's my point, though. That's what art school does to you. you. You go in thinking one thing, and then it's like you enter this machine, and the gears start turning, and if you don't hold on tight, then you're going to lose yourself, and you're going to become a part of it. And... That's what happened to me. I certainly went through a lot of different phases in art school, like trying to figure out who I was. I call it, let's see. Yeah, oh yes. Oh, and the, oh, the mustache, the mustache. No, oh. I didn't, I, I didn't know who I was. I didn't. I still don't, but I mean, I'm glad I don't have a mustache. That much is for sure. Uh, anyway, though, so like, as you make your way through art school, you kind of begin to realize that you you sold yourself as fodder to the institutionalization of art in general. Like, this is the contemporary age we live in, where if you're pursuing a degree in the arts, there's no way around it. You are being groomed, my friend, to become part of the art world. Now, when I first started art school, I just wanted to be an artist. I didn't really have any idea what the art world was or what I would have to be doing to be relevant within it. I mean, with such terms as outsider artist and visionary artist used to describe people who operate outside of the institution, it's, it's clear that art school is literally a scheme with a pretty price tag, which essentially is your ticket into the art world. If you have your MFA, if you have your BFA, this gallery will show you, you will be taken seriously. But even if you do have it and you spend all this money on your degree, the chances of you succeeding are still slim to none. Just being realistic with you. I mean, you pay the price to meet the people, you know, who might introduce you to other people, who might introduce you to someone who will get you into a group show and a gallery somewhere in New York if you're lucky. And that isn't to say that there aren't exceptions, okay? I actually, I, I do have several friends who have gone on to have very successes, uh, successful, lucrative careers in the art world, uh, mostly because they've conformed to such trends like zombie formalism or this new bad figurative painting sort of thing that's going on. It's all the rage right now. You've probably seen it if you know anything about the art world. But there was even a time, and I'm not proud of this, but there was a time when I created a body of work which conformed to the very same trends because I wanted to do something that would get me in a show. I wanted to do something that would let me fit in. I wanted to fit in. I went to school for it. I wanted so desperately to be a part of this thing that I was buying a ticket into. And so yeah, I made these paintings. I got a show. They all sold. But I felt nothing because they're not the paintings that I was supposed to be making. I mean, look. I, I, there, I have no delusions about it. There's no place in the art world for a silly portrait painter like me. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a place in the world, the real world, the regular world where we all live, where I can find a way to succeed, just live, be able to make a, a not just a modest living, but a comfortable living, doing what I love and creating the work that I feel like is important. And so, I don't know. I don't know where that place is. I hope that it's there. I'm gonna keep trying to find it. And do I regret going to art school? No, I don't. Because I learned a lot from it, even if I learned what I didn't want to do. But now I know that. And so I'm hoping in some way that my experience can enlighten you or you can learn from it or just maybe, just so that you can know a little bit more about me if you don't care about art school at all. But that's my history, that's my past, and that's where I am right now, so. Thank you guys so much for watching my little spiel and uh, like and subscribe. And if you do like my paintings, hit me up on Instagram, Brooks Crossover, because I will respond to message requests if they are about commissions. Because I do need commissions because I need to make money. All right. Love you guys. And as always, uh, 
Have a wonderful whatever. Bye-bye. <laughs>